curves. Um, so you getting attention and sexual validation from men, they're not looking at you as a whole human being. They're looking at you as an, an object to penetrate. They are looking at you as a piece of meat. Wow, that looks yummy. Boom. I got what I wanted to get. Now I'm off to the next one. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to speak. It doesn't matter to me who gets offended by this. Because this is the truth. And maybe you might tell yourself. Maybe you might tell yourself. Sis, sis, girl, like, like. Queen, sis, princess, you're a queen. You don't feel good like that. You don't feel good. You don't. You can tell yourself that. And I'm not speaking from a condemning perspective. But I'm tired of seeing women for sale nowadays. I am tired of it. I'm tired of the trafficking, of the internet trafficking, of women being sold. Their body parts, their, their, their individual... Their boobs, their butt, their vagina, everything is on sale. It's on a screen and it's being sold to you. Like, it's, it's just like, look at me, I'm a piece of me. That's what's being promoted nowadays on Instagram, on social media. The attention that you get, how many likes, how many men desire you, how many men you sleep with, how many men want to sleep with you. They're not looking at you as a soul they're not looking at you as as um as somebody as a wife as as somebody who has a lot to offer as a whole human being with with thoughts and feelings and emotions they're looking at you as a piece of meat because that's the way you're presenting yourself there's something so valuable like, it's beautiful to feel sexy, but the thing is that I started to realize that the way that you present yourself is the type of men you attract into your life. It's the type of people, you're not attracting a husband, or you're not attracting a life partner, if the way you're presenting yourself is in an over-sexualized way. Unless that partner, that, that, um that comes into your life, you can have him. Maybe he likes that pervert. Maybe he likes you being over-sexualized. Maybe that turns him on. Maybe he's he has a fetish and he's he wants open relationships and he wants to be polyamorous and he wants seven women at the same time. There's relationships like that where that's part of their life. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know about you, but I don't think that in human nature... Any woman wants her man to sleep with 10 women at the same time. It doesn't matter how freaky you want your sex life to be. I'm speaking real, real right now. There is no woman that's going to feel good with having a man lust over different women. You cannot say that to me. Maybe you accepted it because you don't value yourself. Maybe you'll let it slide because you don't value yourself enough. Because if you truly valued yourself as a woman, you would not allow that. There is women who are in relationships with men who do not value them because they don't value themselves as a woman. They don't know who they are. They don't know their worth. They see themselves as just a piece of meat. And the man treats them just like that. And, and there's men who have women in relationships who know that they have low self-esteem and they feed off of the, the woman's low self-esteem. They feed off of it because they're demonic. They're devils. They need, to get, they need to get freed. They need to get right with God. And this entire generation, it's just like, this is what I'm seeing nowadays. This is what you know that this is what's happening. And listen, I'm sorry. I'm not trying.